Hi, Brian Hawkins with Next Step Survival, and I just spent hours pulling everything out of the back of my pickup truck and reorganizing and updating my what I call my winter car kit. And everything you can see on the table and everything I'm going to show you right here behind me actually fits inside of a large over-the-bed truck toolbox on my F-150. And uh, I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so like I said, um, everything here, I have other things in the vehicle, and I might touch on some of that in the cab, but everything here gets locked up inside of a large uh, over-the-bed aluminum toolbox. And I think what I'm going to do is before I go over these what I call my survival bags. I'll set these aside here and uh, just knock out some of this big stuff real quick. A um, little background here. I have a, a 26 year old F-150, 160,000 miles. So I've been driving it for about 14 years. It's a 1992 F-150, two wheel drive, two door. Not a lot of room in the cab of the truck. And it's old. It's it's like a plain Jane, no, doesn't even have cruise control. Okay, it's got air conditioning, power steering, and that's about it. So, um, I'll just get real quick, go over some of this stuff. So, I have a decent spare tire. So, I have, I don't like the jack that's under the hood. I've never even pulled it out. It's just still sitting there all rusted. Six ton bottle jack. I'd like to eventually replace this with a high lift or something, but those are expensive. And honestly, I just can't afford it right now. So that along with a couple of um, hardwood four by fours to bring that up to the right height, uh, that seems to do really well. And I also have this, I've had this for years, supportable um, um, floor jack. And uh, I don't remember the, the a rating on that but it'll uh, lift my truck up even with a load in the bed tire irons four ways this is stuff that uh, year-round stuff that i believe everybody should pretty much have in their in their truck or car um, tarp fuses several times but it's it's in good shape no holes this is large enough i have an eight foot bed and this uh, this i can have a four foot load in there and this would drape over the top of it no problem and multi-use right in the unlikely event that i was stranded somewhere overnight on the side of the road in a ditch in a field wherever and couldn't make it home in a blizzard or whatever and had to get out of my vehicle for whatever reason which would be crazy tarp shelter or could make a tarp shelter in the unlikely event that would happen some rope This bag here, I keep an assortment of uh, bungee cords, ratchet straps. It pretty much takes care of the uh, securing and tarping uh, cargo if I have to haul something, which is the reason I have a pickup truck. Um, bolt cutters, just in case you need some bolt cutters. Uh, this is one of the upgrades that I made this year. Um, generally I was carrying this big bucket or this bucket of all this chain, it's kind of heavy and dirty for towing people out. And if I ever get stuck, maybe I'll have the equipment for somebody to help tow me out, which is always potential. Like I said, it's two wheel drive. This right here is, this is just something, uh, I forgot what they call it, the strap that where they, they pick up loads of a bundle of steel or whatever they choke it with this and raise it up with a, a crane or a forklift this is great for wrapping around the uh, uh the, what they call the uh the shackles and the uncertain vehicles for towing or going around the frame or whatever to, to make the tow straps so the tow straps what i got this is a uh, six thousand pound this is rated at 6800 pounds this is a six thousand pound 30 foot, two inch toe strap. I'd like to eventually get a, maybe another 20 foot to go with this because sometimes you 
maybe a little further off the road. And uh, gas can. This is uh, my tool, tool bag. Quite a bit of tools in here. I'm not going to go through all these tools. Just to, the basic screwdrivers, sockets, wrenches, pliers. Just the basics. I'm not a mechanic, so I'd be limited on what I could do on the side of the road anyway. Um, this I've had for years. I've probably started putting this together over 20 years ago, and I've just maintained it throughout the years. And it's you know the wiring stuff which I probably won't wouldn't need on the road fuses old and new all the different every kind of fuse you could imagine Some circuit breakers in there light bulb kit so light light goes out I don't have to wait till I get home to replace it and an axe Maybe you got a branch fell across the road and you might need to get it out of the road. I am out in rural country. I'm a little, I'm not too far out of town, but I live off of a dirt road. And sometimes I do, I don't drive a lot of miles with this truck, but when I hit the woods or something, go out for a weekend, I generally take the truck. So there's no telling where I might end up. Funnels in this, in this pail here and with regular fluids that you'd have. Uh, oil, transmission fluid, power steering fluid, brake fluid, um, windshield washer fluid for winter, for uh, cold temperatures. And it's down there, I can't reach it, but I have a couple gallons of uh, antifreeze down there, 50-50 pre-mixed. Salt, great for uh, getting t uh, traction. This is a nice container, but it's expensive, so once this goes empty, I'll just keep filling it with rock salt. Just, just for that container there. Um, I showed this in my last video a year or two ago when I was showing the inside of my truck. This is something a buddy of mine made for me, I don't know, 20 years ago out of some rod and a, and a U, uh, U bolt. <coughs> Excuse me. And it, it's just for like pulling stuff to you. So I keep this right on the top of my uh, toolbox. And if something slid up into the, you know, out of reach on the, in the bed, I just open this up and grab it or try to pull it toward me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's handy. Just call this tire thumper. I'm a truck driver. Um, snow shovel. I've used that many times. Fix a flat. Several of these, I know a lot of people are not fans of fix a flap, but I'm not a fan of sitting on the side of the road either if I don't have to. Also in uh, one of these kits, oh, it's that one right there. I have an entire plug set, um, WD-40, pad, paper, local map, some more rope. Uh, I'm not gonna pull all these out, but uh, tent stakes, again for a tarp shelter if I had to have one. I call this my uh, repair kit here, so more light bulbs, battery terminal, I mean it's just got all kinds of stuff in here. Here's one of my uh, plug set, plug kits. Um, I don't know if I want to bring all this stuff out. An assortment of uh, hose clamps and then more bulbs way more stuff than I would need I got some some wire tape banding if something starts to fall off muffler exhaust something you can tie it back up until you get home I have an assortment of these uh, hose repair and these are T's, but I have the straight lines as well, where hose breaks, cut it even, put you know, put your hose back together, use these uh, hose clamps, and you're back on the road again. Have the antifreeze if I need uh, uh, need to top it off, and I should be able to roll again. 
without calling uh, AAA or something. Electrical tape, have all the electrical tape everywhere. I like to, I like to make kits. So if you've been watching my channel for for a while, you know I like to make kits. So I make tool kits and repair kits, first aid, food kits, all that type of stuff. So I just incorporated some of that into my uh, uh, vehicle kits. I forgot that one. This this uh, little dry bag here is just a. Uh, I think I got this from. Harbor Freight. Excuse me. So just a siphon pump, and uh, smells like gas because I just emptied out my uh, lawnmower and stuff with it. You know, to take all that old gas out and then run the rest of it out so that I have a uh, I don't store bad old gas in my lawnmower and stuff for the winter, but. Just keep that in the vehicle just in case. Yeah, like I said, I have a gas can there. Clothing. So in the cab of my truck, uh, hanging up um, in the cab, I have Carhartt um, coveralls, Carhartt long sleeve sweatshirt with a hood, and some uh, some overpants. It's a little. Uh, overkill and some winter gloves and that type of stuff but inside of here are I, th I believe a towel socks wool socks underwear t-shirt and I'm not even sure but just the basics if I get out there and get soaking wet or something I have some clean clothes to put on inside this is just a uh, wool blanket merino wool, wool. And uh, again, multi-purpose, multi-use. Can use it if I had to, you know, like I said, if I got stranded out there or something and, and, and wasn't able to run my vehicle and, and have heat. But also, you know, you come up on an accident, somebody's laying out in the snow on the ice and on the concrete, you can't move them for whatever reason, because you shouldn't probably, if you don't know what you're doing. You can at least cover them up, maybe prevent a little bit of shock and or freezing to death. Uh, water. I have more water in the cab of the truck. This stuff freezes. Okay, so we know we know this water is going to freeze. It does every year. And then, uh, so if you need to have water with you, I believe, but you also have to have a way to thaw it out. And I'll get to that in a second. Good fire extinguisher. One in the cab of the truck. One in the toolbox. This is a little sliding shelf that goes on there. This has just got some stuff in the um, that I might want to grab without having to dig inside, you know, a toolbox or whatever. So this is the basic tools, pliers, vice grips, screwdrivers, hammer, some work gloves, flashlight, some tape, lighter, even a little cheap magnesium bar just because I had extra. Uh, this is a little dog dish. My my. Girl Sadie there goes with me quite a bit, so dog leash, collar, uh, leader, uh, cable, and, and food, I mean a uh, dish for water. And uh, then, you know, the lock, something that you need to keep within reach is the, uh, uh, for the locking rims, and then way to chain something else up if I need it. Underneath the work gloves, I have uh, some more nitrile gloves, which was in, I don't know if I showed you those before, but I got the, I like the, uh, the disposable gloves, so I just like to be able to use it and toss it in the trash. This stays in, the, this stays in here as well. This kit here doesn't. So this stays in with the, uh, inside that toolbox, water bottle, Again, a lot of this is going to seem like overkill. So a lot of people are going to think, he, you know, it's not enough. And a lot of people are going to say, it's way too much. And uh, we all have to do what we feel best for, for uh, preparing. A couple of snack bars, protein bars. This is something that I got off of, I don't know who sent me this, but um, it's just like a meal replacement shake. 
um, light my fire uh, plastic fork and spoon. Just may as well pull most of this stuff out. Salt, pepper. I got these little uh, mylar bags. I do, you know, obviously my own, uh, have my own prepping pantry and that type of stuff. It's not vacuum sealed, but I just was trying, trying these little teeny tiny ones I got from, I think, wish.com or something. I just wanted to try them out. Peanut butter powder uh, and gum. These little pill pouches, I hate to use these for everything, so here's some salt and pepper inside the pill pouches. More protein bars and snack bars. A large, whatever that P, whatever it is, P38, but this is the larger version. I forgot, P52 or something like that. And a little Kershaw keychain tool. These are those zip uh, bars or whatever they're called for fire starting. I've, I've mentioned before, this saved my butt one time, so I keep these everywhere. Um, I got a real nice fire going and saturated ground with rain all day long and I was cold and it was raining it's middle of the night out in the woods by myself and I was able to get a, a nice fire going so this pocket here medicine tube or uh, medicine bottle filled with uh, uh, coconut oil just because and then for the food these little Packets of uh, Wise Foods, they require water, but they don't freeze, okay? So I just thought it'd be a, a, a nice, uh, nice to add these in with my uh, food kit for, for a vehicle. For winter time, I don't have to worry about them freezing or going bad. They're gonna be there for me when I need them. Um, you have to have a way to thaw out water in an emergency. I got this wedged in here pretty good. Just a cheap sterno stove. Pick these up Walmart, wherever. They're, they're very cheap. Speaking of cheap, this is just a very cheap, inexpensive cook kit. Coleman, I think? No, Stanley. And uh, inside the uh, can. You can melt snow in here, peel the plastic off one of the frozen bottles, toss the ice in here, thaw it out. And this will also use wood or alcohol as well. So this is like a cheap generic version of the solo stove, which is what I carry on a hike, but this is just something. I don't put a lot of stuff that I'm not willing to have re taken from me because like I said, it's in my truck and you know, it always has potential to be taken from me. So then some cheap uh, utensils. I have just like tender birch bark or, you know, birch bark and some chugga and a lighter, cheap ferro rod. That's it. So I can have shelter, fire, food, water basic staples of survival right all right so this bag right here goes into whatever vehicle i'm in so if i'm i also i've shown my edc bag this is completely separate from my edc bag which is over there that goes with me as well this goes in the vehicle i don't carry this around with me it goes in the trunk of the car or the cab of the pickup truck or wherever Wherever I'm at, I just toss this into the vehicle when we when we when we leave the house, and I've shown these as well. I'm not going to go over this entire thing, but this is one of my uh, survival kits that I make. I make them of different sizes. This right here covers all 20 C's for Dave Canterbury's. He has the 10 C's of. So, so, no, I think it's, uh, yeah, the 10 C's. 10 C's of survival. It covers all that and more. And uh, so I'm not gonna go over that. I've done that on other videos. This is just a bivy. Uh, I don't know, 100 bucks or something from REI. Toilet paper. 
this bag here was I don't remember an air a flight bag or something I picked up on eBay and uh, keep this little thing on top this is just my electronics it's actually uh, you know for a handgun I have other options for handguns so but it's padded and I keep some electronics in here my Garmin GPS hikers uh, GPS Bofang uh, uh, handheld ham radio and then I have all the uh, cords and stuff stuffed in here charge it with a cigarette plug lighter and um, Another map, a, more, a little fire starting kit, just because I've made so many of them, with, uh, with a tin and a ranger band, which is not, with a piece of inner tube, uh, survival blanket, mylar, uh, storm proof matches, lighter, cheap compass that I wouldn't count on, a little ferro rod, it's just uh, one of the little cheap survival things you can grab off the shelf at Walmart or wherever. Ink pen. Paracord. Spare batteries, double A's. Lens edit compass. More paracord. One more side pouch. Some gloves winter gloves, hand warmers, some bags I carry. So it's just about everywhere I go so I don't leave trash laying around. Just clean up after yourself and don't leave stuff laying around for other people to have to clean up. Pretty decent first aid kit. This, like I said, I like to make kits. So this is a pretty extensive. It's got all the trauma stuff in here. Tourniquet, chest seal, Israeli bandage, and it's just loaded with everything that I can handle and, and sutures and all that stuff. I, I couldn't do that myself anyway, so I don't bother. I, don't, I just think that's ridiculous. Life straw. Also inside that, uh, and here is a, uh, a Sawyer Mini. So there's two, two different methods for water. Cheap uh, machete slash knife. Uh, nothing I would like bushcraft or anything, but it, it works in here. And I think we're getting to the end of it. This is one of the additions that I just did this year as well. Um, I do have the cables. I think I showed you the cables. If I didn't, there's jumper cables down there somewhere. I'm actually on the second take of this because though I did this whole video once, only to realize I never turned the mic on. I'd start all over so I get a little confused on what I showed you but I have pretty decent jumper cables there but now I have this uh, DB power jumper here it's fully charged it's got a little digital readout on there it's got uh, four different voltages so I can with, with all the attachments to charge cell phones um, like your iPad or your Kindle or Nook or whatever and your laptop as well as jumpstart your your vehicle so this is uh, the latest one of the latest editions for this year something I've been wanting for a while went ahead and, and, made, and bought it it's got good decent ratings on uh, Amazon and I don't remember what I paid for it but it was under a hundred dollars I think maybe 70 something dollars or something like that. It's actually a little larger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it would fit my glove box, but I keep this in this bag here because I don't want to part with this. And I don't want to part with this kit, this first aid kit. And I don't want to part with, you know, like my food kit or, you know, my cook kit and stuff. So these things stay in this bag along with my electronics. So the, uh, I don't recall what it is. It's a few hundred dollars for the GPS. So this this type of stuff. Not only do I not want to stay in my truck all 
night after night in low freezing temperatures, I want to be able to bring it in at night. And then if somebody does break it into my truck, these items here, they're not going to get unless they can somehow uh, get in the house. Then they have other things to deal, deal with. So that's the whole reason for this particular bag. Not because I need a, another EDC bag or survival bag, but just because I'm not willing to just hand that to somebody that got greedy and decided to break into my truck, even though I keep that locked up. All right, so that's about it. What I have in the cab of the truck, I'm not, I, I, I debated if I want to take you out. It's snowing right now and show you the inside of the truck. I don't really think that's necessary. It's an old truck, there's not a lot of room. There's not even a center console, it's just the bench seats. So I have one of those little cheap plastic things sitting there with uh, just the basics. Uh, hand sanitizer, I can't even remember what's all in there. Uh, I have a little, uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. Plug it in, cigarette plug lighter, and you can plug in a coffee pot or whatever, you know, what, you know, a household item. Um, transformer or something, is that what it's called? I can't remember. And I have the sun visor thing with a glass breaker, seat belt cutter, knife, pad, you know, uh, right in the rain pad. Everybody seems to like right in the rain, uh, space pin, all that stuff. And then uh, in the glove box, umbrella, winter gloves, stuff that everybody would have behind the seat. I have another first aid kit, um, fire extinguisher. Like I said, I have my coat and you know, uh, coveralls and all that type of thing. I have a pretty decent, uh, I guess you could call it a snow rake, these new ones. It's got the big uh, rubber end on there where you can just pull, you know, like a foot of snow off the top of your truck and the hood and everything pretty quickly. And then the snow, snow and ice scraper and as such. But, I don't really see any need in showing you all that stuff. You've seen all that stuff a hundred times before. So this pretty much does it. Like I said, this is stuff that works for me. And there's some things that I'd like to get. I don't know if I mentioned I want to get one of those high jack or high lift jacks for my truck, but they're, they're expensive. And I want a newer truck. I want a four wheel drive someday, but you know, in, in a newer vehicle, new truck or, or really, I'd really like a new Jeep, but that's just not in the cards right now. So we'll just deal with, with what we can. I don't have a lot of money wrapped up in this gear. As you can see, a lot of it's old. Um, I did a lot of work on it this this year, but generally I go through this every year, drag everything out, take stuff out. I make a mess of it. So by spring, when I'm ready to take the winter stuff out and make sure it's all good for the heat, this will be a disaster. Most of these will be opened and just thrown back in there. My cables will be stretched out and wrapped up in the, the bungee cords and everything else just like it. Just, it's just never ending, so it's just easier for me just to bring everything out of the truck, start out from scratch, put everything, organize it, put it back in. At least twice a year it's looking like that, so great time to make a video. Plus, I got the heat on. It's cold outside. All right, that's it. Any questions, comments, feel free. Um, like us, subscribe, all that stuff if, uh, if, you, think, if, the, if you think I'm worthy. And uh, we'll see you. I hope you're having a good one. Bye now.